wishy day one of pre-season. Have you been looking forward to this or dreading it? Um, a bit of both actually, but it's always good to get back into a routine. But after that first session, it's definitely hit, hit us hard. A few, um, few blowing cells out there. 2022 Rookie of the Year, but we're into 2023 now, so you're not a rookie anymore. Do you feel like you're a little bit more experienced, a little bit more uh, street smart? Um, oh, a little bit, but I think I still have a lot to learn and I think I'm at the right place to, um, to learn off, off, off the boys here, obviously. And um, yeah, I'd still say I've got a lot of experience to, to gather. Now, there's a few people that were tipping you to win the yo-yo today, but you've been beaten by Trent Liero. Was that a little bit of a shock to you? Oh, uh, nah, I know he's always, he's always pushing himself and I learnt that last year in the pre-season. He's, he's 110% with everything, so I knew he was going to go hard and yeah, he got me. What are you working on over pre-season? Fitness and what else? Um, oh, fitness, putting a bit of size on, I think. Um, always helps especially at this level um, but also just skills and um, I think working on a few combos as well hopefully get a bit more game time so um, yeah combos will help. Now people see in the video one person that's put a bit of size on is Dean Aramia. When you first <laughs> saw him today who did you think it was? Mate he's always been he's always had a bit of size but he must have been hitting the gym hard I don't want him to run at me in pre-season I know that. <laughs>